Welcome back. We have a 2014 Hyundai i20. Um, it's come in from another gauge. The fuel gauge isn't working. They've replaced the fuel sender and it's still no bueno. So let's crack on, let's have a look at it. Um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get a diagram up first just to see what kind of system we're working with. And we're gonna go from there. Let's go to the computer. Here we are at the diagram. We've got our instrument cluster here. We've got our fuel sender here. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight to the sender, make sure we've got our ground from the cluster and make sure we've got our signal wire. This is all good coming out. Um, obviously we've got our fuel input here. So let's go see what we've got at these two pins. So here we are at the fuel sender. So this should be our ground. Lovely, we've got 13, uh, we've got 11 volt on that. And this is our signal wire. Let's make sure she's getting a good signal. And same again. So we know that the loop from the cluster to the sender and coming out of the sender is fine, so we can rule off that. So, back at the diagram, just run through what we've got. So we've got our voltage coming down on our signal, um, our signal line. We've, we've got voltage here, um, which we shouldn't have. We should have ground here. So we think it's picking up a voltage path through the sender. So what I'm gonna do again is go back to it, unplug it, make sure this wire is dead, um, and that would be that. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll come up to the cluster. But let's go double check that first. So back at the sender, what we need to do is just make sure that this pin, this pin here is dead. And it is. So that's all good. So what we need to do now is go over to the cluster. I'm going to nip the cluster out, make sure we've got, make sure we've got signal to that pin two on the cluster. Um, make sure it's coming all the way round from the cluster. We know from the cluster down to the sender is good. And now we need to check from the cluster, uh, from the sender back up to the cluster. So let's go do that now. And here we are at the cluster, everyone. So ignition on, sender is plugged in. So what we should have is 11 volt. And we don't, we've got earth. That means we've got a problem. So we know from the instrument cluster, our signal wire is sending live to the sender through it and we know that now this needs to have the voltage coming back up so we should have 11 volt up here and we don't we've got ground obviously what we've noticed is in the diagram connector block here um, mf11 which i have found on here it is so this is the connector block that is here. What we need to do now is go to pin five and check what we've got from the sender to the connector block. The only issue I've got is sometimes these diagrams lie. Diagrams lie. That, yeah, that was right. I'm having a mad. Sometimes they lie. It, at the moment, it's looking like that connector block is on the passenger side. And I will bet money on it, that's gonna be on the drivers. But I've got, I've got to go to the passenger side because that's where it's telling me it is. Guaranteed it's going to ruin my day and it's going to be on the other side. So I'm going to go to that and see what we've got. I'll catch up with you guys in hopefully about five minutes when, not wood, it's on the passenger side. So to make it a little bit easier, um, what we're going to do is we're going to split it in the middle. We know we've got it there, down at the multi-plug, and we know what we've got up here at the sender. We'll go to the middle point, open up the loom, find the wire, and see what we've got. If we've got a live, it's a little bit further down. If we've got an earth, it's a little bit further up. So let's do that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I should have bet money on it. We went to the passenger side, went to test the plug. It's a different color wire. I was like, okay, maybe, maybe the color changes. And there's another multi-plug somewhere before it gets to the cluster, because we know we've got a red and orange up here. I was looking for a red and orange down there. I beeped it through and everything, and obviously it's the wrong side. Told you, told you. I knew it was going to be the other side. So we've come to the driver's side now. After loads of faffing around, beeping wires through, I have located the wire from the instrument cluster down to the multi-plug. 
I've already tested it. I've got an earth down there. Um, but for the sake of you guys, I'm going to show you. Da, 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 da. Here we are, guys. Here is our multi plug, and this is our wire in here. So let's show you what we got. Come down, come down, come down. Ignition on. And we've got our earth. So the earth path from the instrument cluster down to the multi plug is all good. And I'm going to show you on a diagram what that means. So, little recap. We know we've got our signal coming all the way down to the fuel sender. And we know it's going through the fuel sender and we know that's fine. So everything from this point we've tested is good. We've come up here, we've got our ground. So what we did, we came down to the multi plug to make sure that this bit of wiring from the cluster to the multi plug was good. And we still got our ground. So we know everything here, everything here is good. We've got an issue between the sender and the multi plug. And that gives us a lot of car to go through, to be honest. We've got to go from there all the way to the sender in the back. We're most likely, well, we're going to have a broken wire. Now we've got to go find it. <laughs> Always the fun job. We've diagnosed the issue now. Let's go find it. So I'm going to catch up with you guys in a minute. Hopefully it's not going to be a major strip down because that's going to, it's going to drive me a bit insane. But let's have it. So just going to give you guys a little bit of a on how it's all going. Have a look at what we got. Rear seats out. So initially we were going to come to here thinking that the wire would run from the multi plug to there along the bottom to the sender. Got down here and the wire weren't there. So I thought, okay, let's go back here find out where it runs to I opened up the loom here to find the wire and this was the one I beeped it through from the multi to there all good I opened it up here and it wasn't there so it runs all the way under the seat which left me in another conundrum where does this wire actually go and we're gonna go all the way around to the other side I thought if it's that side runs under the seat Possibly it will come to this side. So I opened up the loom here and found the wire again and I beeped it through from Here to the multi plug. So we know that the continuity of the wire between this point is good. So we've got off our problem is between from what we know there To there how I found out it ran that way initially was I pulled this back and it this is the wiring it runs all the way along the passenger sides when if it had run over the driver's side it would have made a lot more sense but there you are we are in a position now we've narrowed it down halfway again we're just going to do that again we're going to go to da, 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 we're going to go to this point here see what we've got and then we know our faults either between there and there which is a strip down or there and the sender which is already exposed and we just need to open up the wiring, find out where it is. So I'm going to find the wire there, test and see what we got, voltage or earth. Right everyone, so I was peeling back the uh, peeling back the tape to test the wires going down to it and look what we found. There we go, we've got our broken wire there, we've got another broken wire, some more nibbles on a green one. It looks like old Mickey Mouse has had a go down here. He's chewed up the uh, the mounting point for the cables. I'll be honest, that's not what I expected to find at all. But we found it now. Let's do the repair, make sure all the wires are good in that little bit, in that little area. Secure them all down properly, even though he's chewed up, chewed up the mount. And yeah, get it all cleaned up. So I'm going to do the repairs and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Uh, before I put it all back together, make sure it's all working good. We have dun, 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 done our repair down there. Let's go round to the driver's side. And right, here we go, we've got the dash up. And there it is. It's all good. All that's left now is to get the car back together and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Another one in the books. I not, didn't expect to find a mouse that uh, chewed it up or mice, whatever it was. 
Um, but we got there in the end, broken wire. It's all working, everything's back together, and this one is ready to go back to the customer. So if you enjoyed the video, let us know what we did good, what we did bad, anything we can improve on. Let us know down in the comments. And if you liked it, give us a little thumbs up, always helps. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!